Hey guys, Tech Commercial with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's not turning on after charging for a long time. You may notice you just simply can't get it to turn on. You're pressing and holding the button and still not turning on. You want to follow these steps. First thing is you're going to try to do a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another quickly, and then hold the side button until you see the Apple logo appear. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold that side button just like that. Make sure you press volume up followed by volume down quickly and then keep on holding that side button just like that until you see the Apple logo appear. Again, same thing as you see the Apple logo appear, then you'll let go of that button. If you keep on holding it, it will shut down again. So make sure to do volume up, volume down one after another and then hold that side button until you see the Apple logo and hopefully that turns your phone on. Now, if it doesn't turn on, it's time to figure out if you have a bad charger or a charger that's not charging your iPhone. In order to do that, make sure you're using, especially on a new iPhone 15 or the newer iPhone, you don't want to use any generic one. You want to use the Apple branded charging cable. So new iPhone 15s have USB-C. So this is the original cable. You want to use the original cable and also get one of these blocks. These are 20 watt block. I find these are the ones that work the best. Now you don't want to try to charge it with your computer or maybe those smaller 5 watt one because the newer iPhone again requires a lot of power. So you want these 20 watt Apple a wall adapter and the original charger and then charge your phone for about I would say somewhere between uh, 30 minutes or so and it should automatically turn on if the charging is working correctly you shouldn't have to do a force restart that we did now in a case that you have original Apple wall adapter and a charger for sure and you charged it using the wall Right? You want to do the force restart after 30 minutes again. In order to do a force restart, again, the process is volume up, volume down, press and release, and then finally hold that side button just like that. As you'll see, again, you want to follow this process of for force restarting it. Try to do it a few times, maybe even charge for one hour, and then try it again. And this should eventually turn on your iPhone if your iPhone doesn't have any hardware issue that could be causing the problem. And if you're charging it correctly with the charger, it will turn on. Like I said, do the force restart a few times, volume up, volume down, right? One after another, press and release, and then hold that side button. And hopefully after that, your phone does turn on. Now, doing this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, books, messages, documents, whatever you have on your iPhone, will all be there. You won't lose any of your data at all, but it's something you want to do if you just simply can't get your iPhone to turn on. Again, go ahead and do a force restart and use the right, correct charger. If you use the previous charger, again, sometimes those older chargers don't work. Also, final tip is make sure there's no dust or debris blocking the charge port as well. Uh, we did a video on how to clean that if you want to check that out. But basically, we don't want any dust or lint that could block the connection whenever you plug it in. So make sure you know you clear that out as well. So I hope, again, this video was helpful and your phone is working now. If so, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.